Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am getting ready to do a watermelon soap. And this is going to be for 4th of July. This will be cured June 23rd. Um, it is a berries, a creamy berry scent. And it smells really good. I don't want to do a whole lot of mixing because I want this to stay pretty thin for now. In goes my cream. I think I just moved out of camera shot. And I'm not going to add my fragrance yet. and I couldn't find information on whether or not it was going to accelerate. Alright, I'm trying to think here. Let me... Is that going to be enough? Put it between these two. I don't know what I'm going to do when my lines wear off of here all the way. So I have a white and a red. Oops. Pick the tripod. I have been over analyzing um, how much I should be using in each color. I know I don't want more than that. Well, see, and I'm still over analyzing this. I really don't want any more than that, do I? Well, I don't... I'll just do the rest in the blue. All right. See, this is my problem when I plan soaps. I hope you can see. I'm just scraping out into the blue now. But this is my problem when I plan soaps. I start overthinking things and make it more difficult than it needs to be. I didn't intend to end up with three equal parts. I think I'm going to regret that. But it's a little late for that now. Let me wipe off my spills here so I don't drag soap all over the place. And I'm using paper towels. All of my soap towels are needing to be washed.
And we'll do red next. And actually, I don't think I'm going to blend that. I think I'm just going to hand mix the rest of this. I just want to make sure I keep a nice thin trace here. Yeah. Nice thin mix anyway. I'll do this for the white. And oh bummer, I'm out of the spatula for the blue, so I'll just use this one. So, in case you hadn't figured it out yet, this is going to be red, white, and blue. I'm going to go ahead and drop in my fragrance. Which smells really, really, really yummy. I wanted a nice berry scent, and they're hard to find. Um, this one is a creamy berry. It's got raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, and cream. The cream is a nice... Uh, well, I mean, it offsets it nicely. I'm also going to add jojoba beads. These are white jojoba beads. And my idea here is these are going to re represent the stars in the flag. Sticky little boogers. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. I've never used white jojoba beads. that out of the way. Mix in my fragrance here. Sorry, I know this is boring. It's much faster if I just stick blend it, but I don't want it thickening up. And the white is already pretty thick because that's just how titanium dioxide is. It gets thick. It is a beautiful spring day here. We have had, our weather's been crazy. Um, Pacific Northwest, we don't usually hit warm temperatures until after July. Fourth of July, we're, it's usually freezing. Um, our summer really doesn't start until August, and it ends in August. We have about a month that it's nice and warm. If we're lucky, there have been years where we haven't gone above 90. And I grew up in Southern California, and I love the heat. So right now, we've been in the 80s, and they're calling for 90s lately, or later this week. I'm super excited about that. And unfortunately, I have a week full of appointments Otherwise, we would be out hiking and bike riding and enjoying the weather. But hopefully, they won't be as bad as, won't be too bad and we'll get to enjoy it some. But it is certainly nice standing here soaping and looking at the sunshine of the rain. Let me make some room here. So I have this divider that I got. I got this from Brambleberry. And I don't think you can see. You know, I'm going to see if I can play with the camera angle. Well, unfortunately, with the area that I'm in, I can't really get the camera up any higher. So it is what it is. I will do my best. Whoops. Do my best to not make a mess. How about that? So 
some red. And the next one, I'm going to do some white. Of course, I dribbled it down into the red because that's just awesome. I don't have a very uh, I don't have a very steady hand. Oh, I might be able to catch it. I guess that is one benefit to the red being a little thick. I mean the white. Oh man. That one I did not catch. I almost need a funnel to do this. Uh, all right, I'm going to turn this for this last white one here. I was going to say, see, this I can do, except I just poured it down the th outside of the mold. Good grief. Alright, I put tape on here. I'm going to peel this off because I don't think I need it anymore. And I don't want to have to be picking it out of my hardened soap. Maybe. There we go. this down and I need to stir this up. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the white, I think. Hope you can see. getting kind of thick so right now I need to make sure that I'm focusing here. Okay. Well, that doesn't help either, does it? Well, that does. Okay, let's see if I can do that. I don't know. I may not be talented enough for this. Keep pouring it down the edge there. Maybe if I do it this way. Not that it really help either. It's hard for me to see right now. How even my layers are. I need more white there in the middle. Shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking. I 
I'm not going to save any for the top because I'm just going to uh, do blue on the top. Finish the red here. Let's see, I can't tell which needs more. Not the white. The white doesn't need more. The white has plenty of red. Oh well. I am far from perfect. So I just do the best that I can and go from there. Alright, I'm going to smack this down before I take out my dividers. This is tricky because these don't always want to come out. Oops. Looks like they're going to today. Fantastic. I'm going to see if I can. Clean them off a little bit. going to be a little bit of soap loss there, but normally I am very anal about scraping everything off, but it's really hard to on these, I have found, if you want some sort of a design in the end. And maybe that's just me. I'm just not coordinated enough. And that is a possibility. the ends. Phew. All right. Smack that down. And I'm going to off my edges. While I plane my sides, there's quite a bit of thick soap batter here, so I'm not going to clean off that much. And then I'm going to pause for a minute and let this sit and thicken up a little bit before I pour the top one. Okay, I went ahead and started spooning on the blue. And I did that off camera because I did it very slowly like this and it just took a while. Um, the red just wasn't setting up. And I waited about seven minutes. Oh, well, maybe not that long. Maybe like five. But 
I just didn't feel like waiting any longer. Bad enough, I'm going to have to wait to cut this. And the other one I did earlier today. One of the things I love about this weather is it really gets me in the mood to soap. Um, oops, sorry about that phone. Anyway, it really gets me in the mood to soap summer stuff. And summer is definitely my favorite time of year. Fruit is my favorite scent. Anything fruity and I am happy. I like spicy too and but I, I tend to gravitate more toward fruit than anything. I'm not big on the florals. I do like some but I don't like musk or perfume type scents. I like things to be sweet and fresh. In fact, I opened up a fragrance today that I bought because I've had a lot of people request it. And my first thought was, oh, this smells like cat litter. Um, and I'm sure to somebody else it will smell just fine. But I'm not really thrilled with it myself. It's just what it made me think of and smell is one of those things that is super sensitive to people or uh, not sensitive, um, personal to people you know, it can trigger memories and all sorts of stuff I'm hoping my blue turned a little green with the fragrance and I'm really hoping that it's going to turn blue again that happens a lot with these micas, I have noticed. That as they cure and sit up, they're fine. But they look funny now with the raw soap. Fingers crossed, this is actually red, white, and blue. And not red, white, and turquoise. I don't want to smack this too hard because I don't want to sink into the layers below. This is definitely not ready for me to texture though. No. But I'm doing it anyway. So, but it's not going to hold. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back to finish this off. Well, I have been waiting for over 10 minutes now. And it's still just not thickening up. So, and I am out of time. Um, it's much later in the day than I realized it was. And I have got appointments. I have to go pick up kids from the school. So I'm just going to try to get this to work with me here. just want a little bit of lift is what I'm looking for. Oh, one kid came home, which means I gotta go. <sighs> she gets home and doesn't even take off her shoes. We have to turn around and run to get her sisters. And I think my youngest fell asleep again because she's quiet. Hey, honey. I'm just trying to finish the top of this. I did red and white stripes inside. It's cool. All right, I'm about ready to give up here. So, 
Well, I did succeed in moving a lot of it down in this end, so let's try that again. There we go. My hands starting to get tired. I've been trying to swirl this forever now. So I'm going to do a little bit of glitter. And then I'm actually, while I was waiting, decided to top the top off with some jojoba beads. If I didn't have any red and blue ones, that would have been cool. Oh well. So there you go. Can you believe it? I have a cure date. I was bored while I was waiting, so I looked it up. June 23rd. So it'll be ready uh, in time for 4th of July. And, whoops, I'm not wearing gloves. I just wiped off a bunch of soap. That was real intelligent. Anyway, June 23rd. Don't go anywhere. I will post the cutting at uh, the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm getting ready to cut my berry soap. Still really soft. Can you take that, please? Yeah, it's supposed to look like a flag. She said it looks like a flag. The top turned a little green. It's still blue, but it's not as blue as I had hoped. But there's the inside. Let me. Just... Well, it stopped recording. So there's an end. Let's focus this in. There it goes. So I think I mentioned, but this will be cured June 23rd. So it would be nice and cured for 4th of July. And the top has the jojoba seeds in it. And I sprinkle it on the top of the soap as well. And it smells really good. You smell that? Sorry, all three kids are standing here. And... Well, I need to smell. So they all are going to look just like this. I didn't do any swirls. I wanted to have stripes like the flag. The blue on top. I like the soap. You like it? Yeah. Pretty. My seven-year-old approves. And then the last piece. And again, this will be cured June 23rd and will be available at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye!